A lot of the evidence that we're seeing here is related to the attempted murder of Al Noderangeli. Noderangeli was a Somerville-based gang leader who had killed one of Jerry Angelo's bookies. Jerry Angelo then asked the Winter Hill Gang to carry out the assassination of Noderangeli. Multiple times, Martirano and others made that attempt. Martirano described in court how he uh, would follow in a car and broadside that car uh, multiple times, and that's the cars that you've seen, bullet-ridden cars. James Weddy Bulger would follow in a crash car so that he could intercept any police officers or any cars driving to the scene. At one point, Martirano did find Joe Noderangeli, who was Al's brother, and he shot and killed him. Al Noderangeli fled to the West Coast. In 1973, he asked Howie Winter to set up a truce meeting with Jerry Angelo. He promised to pay $50,000 to the family of that bookie that he killed. Jerry Angelo said he would accept the truce, and he accepted the $50,000. However, it was all a show, because later he asked Martirano, why is he still alive? Why haven't you killed him? Martirano then invited Noderangeli to a restaurant in Revere. When Noderangeli got into his car, Martirano shot and killed him. James Weddy Bulger was in the car behind him.